On the mound for the Red Sox is Tim Wakefield. All right, Dickey will take the mound for the Mets. Two knuckleballers in the majors right now. We're a society that's all about immediate gratification. Speed, velocity, power. The knuckleball doesn't fit in today's society. To the masses, it's a circus pitch. He's a Red Sox sidecar. A knuckleballer. When I got to college, it was cool to try to hit guys in the kneecaps with it. That's where I learned on some back sandlot field, a nine-year-old boy. He told me he wanted to grow up and be a baseball player. Ah! And marry me. Tricky Dicky. <laughs> Everybody loves a good comeback story. And Ari Dickey's is probably one of the best in baseball right now. When I started embracing my own personality with the pitch, things started really to take off. The first three balls hit me right in the chest protector without even hitting the glove. And the ball gets away. Everything you're taught as a catcher goes out the window. It is erratic. At the last second, his ball can change direction. Spooky. <laughs> you could humiliate the biggest, strongest guys. Swing and a miss. Derek Jeter strikes out. I don't even think he knows where it's going. It has always been a distrusted art. You don't know what you're going to get. You just don't. All your dreams crumble down. This is what you worked your whole life for. Nobody trusts the knuckleball. Nobody. You're on a little island by yourself, that's for sure. Knuckleballers have always been very rare. They're considered freaks, kind of fraudulent. I remember to save on rent, he had to sleep in the car he was renting. There was still this hope to follow his dream. There's a real unique bond that we share because nobody else has walked where we've walked learn how to accept losses without being defeated. I think every little kid should learn to throw a knuckleball, you know. Never lose your confidence out there. It's up to the world what it's going to do.